Yo, what's up everyone? It's me, Jake here, and today I'm going to be doing another haul, which I didn't really expect to be doing because last haul was pretty big. I went to the thrift store with my mom, and I got uh, so many volumes, and all these combined up to like around 50 bucks because they were like 2 to $3 each, and they all came out to have 30% off because my mom had a membership there. So I got these for a really good deal, so I just decided to pick up all the volumes that were there. So yeah, let's just get straight into this haul. I'm going to start with the two volumes I think were in the worst condition. And both of them are definitely from a smoker's house, and you can tell from the smell. But first off is Real About High Volume 3. I have not heard like anything about the series. I just want to kind of see what it was about. Just a little bit. Um, of course, I only have Volume 3, so I can't really do too much. This is that the way I have to read Volume 1 or 2, of course. But it's kind of annoying because you can just kind of smell it from across a room. So I kind of have to air these out. So it's very annoying just because of that. Next up is probably the volume in the worst condition, and that was the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Volume 1. I only got this because I wanted to read Yu-Gi-Oh! If I didn't want to read Yu-Gi-Oh! at all, I definitely wouldn't have bought this because the condition it is in is completely terrible. It's like a 1 out of 10 in condition. Really don't like those two condition-wise, but what can you do? Next up is a series I never even heard of before, but it's a shoujo manga, I am guessing. And that is... Yubisaki Milk Tea Volume 1. I'm probably going to read this at one point. I'm kind of trying to get more into shoujo. And I guess I kind of just got a, quite a few shoujos actually from this place. So I'm kind of excited to read this one. It's not in terrible condition, but it's not in amazing condition. So what can you do? I'm definitely excited to read that one though. Next up is a volume I'm also excited to read. And is another shoujo. But this one's in a really good condition. And that is Here is Greenwood Volume 1. I'm excited to read this one. I haven't heard like anything about it. It looks like it has good art. And yeah, I haven't heard like anything. I just I looked it up as nine volumes. I don't know if they're out of print and hard to find, but I'll have to find that out myself. Next up is a series I actually never even heard of before in my life. But this is probably the one in the actual best condition. Super white pages and everything. It's Murder Princess Volume 1. Um, this series has super white pages. The spine is in very good condition. Um, everything's just in really good condition. And I thought it was funny because almost all these had like border stickers right here. That's like $10.99 and $8.99 on them. But then they had like the thrift store stickers right here. That's like $2.99. So I thought that was really funny. But yeah, this is in really good condition. I'm pretty excited to read it. It looks like an interesting story. If you want a little bit of a synopsis, then you can pause the video here. I don't know if this is a good camera angle, but yeah. I'm excited to read that one. Definitely looks good from what I saw. Next up is a really random volume of Bleach. And it's volume 25. This is not in amazing condition either, but it's in a pretty good condition. I'm going to probably sell this at one point because I'm going to get the Bleach box sets. I know this for a fact. I really do enjoy Bleach. Um, I read the scans of it a while ago. Haven't read it in a while. So I'm really planning on getting the like, actual box sets. So yeah, I really can't wait to read the box sets when I do get them. Oh, I forgot to mention. There was a couple volumes that I already sold. Because uh, I got them in like, a week ago before. And I forgot to put them in my last manga haul. But I got them from a thrift store as well for all $3.99. Now it was Naruto volumes... Uh, 38 and 48, Attack on Titan Volume 1, and then 6 through 11, and then Volume 8 of Yu Yu Hakusho. But they, those are already sold, so I'm sorry if you guys wanted those. But yeah, next up is a series in really good condition as well, also for $2.99, has the first two volumes of Judas. Now, I've never heard anything about this series, but I can tell just by how it looks i'm probably gonna like this here's the synopsis if you want to read it pause it but yeah just from the covers i can just tell this looks really interesting to me i think there's only six volumes if i was mistaken when i uh looked it up but yeah i'm very excited to read this don't know like anything about it and i'm just in awe with how many volumes i could find in this thrift store so yeah next one I don't know if you say AI Ori Love Me or I Ori Love Me, but that volume one. Um, it's a pretty thick volume, but surprisingly enough, this was still only $3.99. Um, I also don't know if this is selling for quite a bit. Here's a synopsis if you want to re read that, pause it. But yeah, I haven't really looked into it. Definitely from the art, looks like a shoujo series. 
but I don't know like, anything about most of these series. They just were like there. So I decided to pick them up. I'm probably gonna sell most of them, but you never know. I might really enjoy them and find other places, uh, try to get the rest of them. Now the next one is Zombie Loom Peach Pit Volume 1 and 2. These are also in insanely good condition and only worth $3.99. I got super lucky with these conditioning volumes. Um, I got super lucky just in general with this haul. Here's a little bit of a, a little bit of synopsis. Damn, that's a huge synopsis. It might be. But yeah, I got really lucky with this haul. Because I did not expect this many volumes at a thrift store. Usually when I go it has like two or three, but Having around like 25, I believe. That's just not something I've not heard of from this place. So I am very excited to read a bunch of these. Next up is definitely a series I'm most likely selling. And that is Trigun. But these are not really good condition that much at all. This is Trigun Volume 1. It's not really in that great condition, as you can tell. But I really do love Trigun. So pretty excited to see how the manga fares. And then I have Trigun Maximum Volume 2. I have yet to read Trigun. I've only watched the little bit of the anime that I have. But I really did enjoy it from when I watched it. So I might just get pick those up, read them, see how I like them. And yeah. Next up is a series that I could just tell I liked from the art style. But kind of just stopped being printed at Volume 17 by Del Rey. And that's Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei. Um... I've won this series for a while, but it's like 31 volumes in all. But in English, it got cut off at 17, if I do believe so myself. But it does look like a pretty good series. Here's a little bit of a synopsis if you want to pause that again. Because I really don't know like, much about these series, so I kind of can't really explain most of them. So I kind of show you guys the synopsis for them. So yeah. You don't have too, too much left because the rest of it is mainly like ongoing series, but... Next up is three volumes of Samurai Deeper. Now, I have not heard almost anything about this series, but the art really caught my eye when I saw it. Like, this art is really nice looking. I just put it on the perfect panel. My God, the art is really unique, really nice. And yeah, uh, if you want a little bit of synopsis, there's one as well. But yeah, I, I do really like how these are. And I really do like the art style. I'm probably going to read most of these and maybe make views, uh, videos on them in the future. But I do not know when those videos will be released or if I will release them. Because I don't think I'm going to pick up the rest of the series. Because I think the rest of the series is actually pretty hard to find. So if it isn't and I like it, then I'll probably pick it up and read the rest from there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's fine. It didn't do anything. I got super lucky on that. I am so happy that did not damage anything. <laughs> I am very unlucky on that, though. But next up is another one that's in amazing quality. Uh, the only thing wrong is a little bit on the spine, and that is Nightmare for Sale. Um, this is really white. Like, insane. It's basically brand new. The spine is actually kind of hard to open the volume because how good the spine is intact. But here's a little bit of a synopsis. And yeah, the only thing that's wrong with it is this little bit on the spine. But getting something like this for like, I think this one was $2.99, is an insane steal. Getting a volume for $2.99 in that good of condition is a very big steal. If you're a manga collector, you definitely know that as well. But yeah, we only have a couple more volumes to go, guys. And the next one, as I don't know if you say it is Nephilim. But it's Nephilim Volume 1, if that's how you say it. Uh, I do not know anything about this series. It's a pretty older series, I can just tell. Another synopsis. But yeah, um, I looked through most of these to see the artwork. Most of them have really good art. I can just tell this is a shoujo. Um, which is good, because I've been trying to get more, more into shoujo, like I said earlier. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to read all this, because it's a lot of shoujo stuff. So yeah. Um, next up... This series I already have, but it's a volume one. I'm gonna resell it because it doesn't have the same spine I have because I have the same spines for all of mine. That is Love Hina. This is the volume one. It's in a, it's yellowed a little bit. It's a little bit not in the best condition, but it's not in the worst condition either. I think this is in a decent condition for Love Hina volumes because you can always see Love Hina volumes like very well damaged. So uh, I forgot to show you the synopsis. 
I'm yet to read this because I'm in the Kenan Komatsu, like, train of reading manga. So I'm reading Negima right now, and then after that, I'm probably going to be watching Yu-Q Holder. I'm not, wa uh, not watching, reading, because I just ordered it. So yeah. So after the those two, I'm probably going to be reading Love Hina. Next up is Night of the Beast. This is also Volume 1. Um, I got super lucky finding a lot of Volume 1s, which is something I don't usually say too often. But yeah, I got really lucky with these. Um... I can also tell these, this is just shoujo by most of the art. Um, well, thankfully, I haven't found, like, any NSFW art. But, yeah. I'm going to just clean this little bit up so I can show you guys the final few volumes. And, yeah, let me just get to it. And we are back. We only have two series left, guys. And to start off, these both are shoujos. And this one is going to be volumes 1, 3, and 4 of Godchild. Now, the last two series have very, very similar spines, if not the same exact spines, different uh, pictures on them. But I've heard a little bit about Godchild saying it's a really good manga, so I'm kind of excited to really get into this. Of course, I have to get volume two as well, which is kind of annoying how it only had volumes one, three, and four, but what can you do? I also really like the covers on these. These covers are really nice looking, so... I very much cannot wait to read these. I put this one upside down, didn't I? Yeah. Bam. Sorry about that, guys. And then lastly, volume four. And then the final series of this video, after this huge haul from my thrift, local thrift store, I actually have a story to tell about volume three, but it's the first five, uh, five volumes of Vampire Night. Now, when I say these uh, spines are very similar, you will very much see what I meant. You can kind of see what I meant by very similar when I just put them side by side. <laughs> but volume three, the back of it got messed up, which it's a very funny story because the person working the cashier was bagging it and said she really would have wanted this. And then when she bagged it, she kind of put it in the bag so that was a box tissue, don't worry boys, where it kind of bent. So that kind of annoyed me, but it's getting fixed better now. Uh, give me one second, I have to let the dogs out. I'm very sorry about that, my dogs just need to be let out. But yeah, it just really annoyed me when I got it, but it's getting better now, so I can just hope it gets better in the future. But that second to last volume of this haul is volume four. And then volume five is the last volume of this haul. Now, if you want to see the full haul in one, give me one second and I can do that. So this is what I just showed you right now. And then this is the rest. This is a pretty big haul for just 50 bucks. I got super lucky. Um, I know some of these are very uh, loved series by people. Like I know Samurai Deeper, I've seen on eBay a bit. Never heard of Judas, but I know that zombie uh, lone pit, peach pit is pretty loved. I know Bleach is pretty loved, of course. And yeah, I know I know a couple of these series are very loved, so I'm very hyped to get them. Also, so is like Vampire Knight and God Child. Uh, God Child. These two are very popular as well. So I cannot wait to read these. And yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I hope I see you guys next time. Peace.